Hello guys, welcome to another video. Manus has released Manus 1.5 and Manus 1.5 Lite, which is a free version of Manus 1.5. In this video, I'm going to show you what I've tested and some of the unique feature that Manus has released in this release. So that being said, let's get started. So go ahead to the Manus.im website to register a free account and select Manus 1.5 Lite. So I have tested this specific prompt, which is to create a web version of a retro macOS desktop. So the appearance is resemble the classic macOS 9 system, featuring the iconic top menu bar and draggable windows. Also, the desktop must include three basic applications, a notepad for typing text, an AI painter that can generate drawings using AI and a calculator function. There's also a count system that you can log in and log out. After you run this prompt, you should be able to see this window generated. And when you click on this window, you will see the preview. Also, you can click the view minus computer to actually see this web application on a actual part, which is the actual web instance. So for example, if you click this minus computer, you should be able to see a screen like this, which start with HTTPS. This is the actual instance link and the application is built inside here. You can see there's a calculator, there's an AI painter, also, there's a login and logout system. You can click at logout and log back in, which is very nice. So instead of try it in here, you can also click to use Visual Studio Code. So this is very different than the other agent. So you can actually see this in a web instance. So it's not really running on this application, but instead, you actually can see this application in either the Visual Studio Code or a browser by just click on it. So this is what you will be able to get. So this is an actual web link. You can actually just uh, uh, copy and paste. So you can see this is the application, AI Painter. And uh, it is AI powered, so you can just type some text in it. So you can see there's um, mountains generated. So it's actually very nice. If you want to see the code, instead of going to the preview, you can see the actual code in here. But if you want to download it, you just go to the Visual Studio. You can see it spin up a code server. So this is very different than the other AI coders. So you actually can get a instance, which you have also 40 gigs hardware space. So you can see it here. You can see there's a 40 gig space assigned to this specific instance. It's very nice. And the code you generated from the Manus console is in here, which is macOS 9 desktop in this case. And you also can download the code base or you can check into Git if you prefer. So the Git is available and also the zip is also available in this specific instance. It's very nice. So this is actually the very, very unique release for a lot of agents on the market. You can see that you can just go into the instance and play around with the code base. And also you can download it just directly from the Visual Studio code, and which is the minus VM converter. So that should be it. So this is a very good release for Manus. If you want to access Visual Studio code, there's one more thing you should do is to create a password 
So you already have that in this instance, but you cannot get it. So to do that, you have to use this command, which is please access the terminal on the VM and run the following command to retrieve the code server. So run this command, you should be able to get the passcode for the code server, which is the video studio you see here. So this is it. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like the video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.